yeah, he fixes it. Yeah! Welcome back everybody to Creative Loop Gaming. My name is Sam and I am very excited to say that we're going to start playing through Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. This is one of my favorite games of all time. Let's go! So exciting. <laughs> Once upon a time there lived a heroic bear called Banjo, a rather loud bird called Kazooie, and an unpleasant witch called Gruntilda. When Banjo's sister was kidnapped, the bear and bird rescued her from the depths of the witch's lair, overcoming many perils and speech impediments to send Gruntilda tumbling to her doom. But she was nothing if not persistent, and surprising nobody, the old hag soon rose from her grave for round two. Our brave heroes once again stood in her way, and this second showdown ended just as badly for Gruntilda, who really should have quit while she was ahead. Many years have passed, and peace reigns in Spiral Mountain. So what became of the bear, the bird, and the witch? <laughs> oh god. So I played this game a lot. Like a lot a lot. When I was Oh god, how old was I? Twelve years ago. No. Thirteen. Thir there's th this game came out thirteen years ago. So I was I think twelve years old when I started playing this game. And this is one of my favorite games of all time. So Banjo Kazooie uh, Nuts and Bolts is the third edition into the Banjo Kazooie series, and as, as far as I know, is the last game that came out with, with the brand name of Banjo Kazooie. The first one being Banjo Kazooie and then Banjo Tooie. And now Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Yeah, this game, game came out in 2008. So basically, the idea is at the end of Banjo Tooie, Gruntilda, the witch, uh, had uh, been defeated. And so basically, Banjo and Kazooie have been taking their time and just got lazy and maybe put a couple pounds on over the years just because they haven't been doing much besides playing Xbox and eating pizza which, you know, doesn't sound that bad but yeah <laughs> I think one of my favorite things about this game is actually the soundtrack alone. It's just a very upbeat and very nice. It's just a nice soundtrack. <laughs> Oh yeah, it took me way longer than I, you know, it should have to figure out that his name is Log, which is an acronym for Lord of Games, and his face is a is a monitor that has Pong on it. 
I think it took me maybe about a, a, a full three months of playing this game to figure that out. Alright, so the object right now is just collect these things more than Gruntilda's head can, but we're kind of slow and we can't really do much of anything. <laughs> and we got the achievement, Pointless Collector, because it doesn't matter if you beat her or not, because I actually think you can't do that. You just... You just... Do your best, I guess. Oh, yeah. Got his muscles back. Some people may recognize Banjo Kazooie. They, they're featured, I think, currently in Smash Brothers right now, which I haven't. I don't think I've played them yet. Huh? Maybe I'll do a series on Smash Brothers. But yeah, no, it's so cool. I love this game so much. I was kind of frustrated in the beginning of it when I first played through this game because for some reason in my head I thought if you beat Frontilda in that first race you could get the better car but nope it's it's a preset choice and you can't you can't change anything about that It just fell through that pig. <laughs> ah. Hello. <laughs> oh. Alright. So... Pray, I'm, I'm just gonna... Get the stuff I need to make my basic oh basic thing my basic trolley that I go through the whole town. All right, got the seat, got all this stuff right here, then some. Now I go to make it. All right, and let's do that. Alright. Yeah, alright, cool. So yeah. So, kind of a premise just for the overworld is you can go run around, you can collect these uh, notes, which is the currency in the game, and then there's also these... Oop. Uh, oop. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I gotta go pick something up from up there, but quickly. So, throughout the overworld, there actually is these little boxes right here where you can collect them and you can return them to uh, Mumbo Jumbo right here. Back up a little bit. Okay. Mumble. And you can get parts. See, I got I, I got a fist. Awesome. All right, so let's go see what's up there. What the Mr. Log wants us to do. Hey. 
Alright. What do you want, Log? Alright, so he wants us to bring this ball down to the center of town. Um, which will open up new levels for us to go through. Because this is just the overworld map. And, oh, actually, I'm not going to do that. Because I learned from playing this game so much, if you just hold it while sliding down here, you get it a lot faster and a lot easier. Because if you put it on your cart and you slid down, your cart tends to, you know, fly off or something or other. So yeah, these little things. If you see inside side of it, it actually has a little coconut, which is like the symbol for the the new world that we're gonna go to. Cool. Yeah. So, oh, and now I can just do this. Hold down Y. And we're gonna go to the new world. Oh, and the best part is they have these trailers for the new world. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna love this. <laughs> See, I love that. I love those trailers. Alright. Yep. Alright. So... The thing about these little side worlds is... There are these missions in each one of them. And each one... If you complete it in a certain amount of time, you get a Jiggy, which is a Jigsaw piece. And this one, if I remember, I'm just supposed to go to the far- the coconut farm? Controls in this game, thinking like, oh wow, the controls are so nice in this game. Having played other games after <laughs> throughout the years, I think it's gotten they've gotten way better in other games. That's all you gotta do. And look at that, I got the time trophy. I think if you get a certain amount of time trophies, you get another jiggy, but we'll see. Hey, my first trophy! Alright. Oh, Give me that jiggy! Aw, oh, yeah. Alright, cool. So now I go back to the overworld. Alright. So when you collect Jiggies, they go to the Jiggy Dispenser, which is right over there. Actually, I think there's a couple of them throughout the whole town. But that one's just the closest one to the... Uh, there we go. Uh, the closest to the Jiggy Collector. Alright, so now I gotta do that. There. And... Awesome. Awesome. 
cool. All right. So I'm just going to quickly collect some of these before I continue on. Walk slowly. Banjo. Banjo. Son of a biscuit. Okay. Okay, Banjo. I see you. Just walk in there. Just walk around. That's right. Don't be running around. Don't be all oh, crazy legs McGee on me again. And just running all over the place. Okay. All right. There we go. There we go. Ah, uh, no, 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 not that way. Come on. You know where I want to go. Hey, there we go. <laughs> nice. All right. Now, a little fun trick about this game, too, is if you fall while you're holding something, you fall a lot slower. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. All right, I think it's time to go to World 2. We went around, we picked up some stuff, and it's time to go to World 2. All right, let's just go ahead and go to, I think the closest one, which is right here. All right. What does Mumbo want? Oh no! <laughs> All right. So we gotta deliver this bomb. All right. Let's do that, and then let's do that. The back out. This on there. All right. Jump it. Woo! -hoo! All right, and avoid all the enemies as much as possible, even though they like to hit you out. You're doing good so far. I like it. Oh no, my banjo license plate. Come on, we are so close. No! We didn't get the trophy. Ah, but well, that's okay. Ah. <sighs> See how he fixes it. Yeah! <laughs> that worked. Awesome. Alright. Time to go to the next one. See you later, Mumbo. Alright, let's go over to this cheetah. Trophy Thomas. Nice. That's a nice thing. If I remember correctly, all this guy's challenges are just races. So, let's make something fast. Uh, come on, come on, Banjo. You can't let this guy win. Come on, oh yeah, there we go. That's the finish line. 
Ah, oh, yeah. And we got the trophy. We got the TT trophy. Which, that's to Trophy Thomas Trophy. <laughs> Nothing to do with rubbish husbands this time. That's funny. <laughs> Alright. What? Oh! Awesome. All right, we gotta make a vehicle that's good at pushing. gonna slide in there. Alright, come on, come on. Let's just go, just go. Ah! Come on, we're so close. Alright. And we did it, and got the trophy for it. Alright, time to redeem these jiggies. Now we got four! And... Alright, cool. So that opens the door for Gruntilda. I think let's just go ahead and go into... the boss fight. Ooh, spooky. I think in all the levels, any of the boss fights you have to fight with Gruntilda, it takes place at the night time. At night time. Okay, Gruntilda. What do you want? Okay, so let's create a vehicle that can stop her. Oh shit, I never <laughs> I never added an engine. <laughs> I need to I need to I need to add an engine. Oh man. That's hilarious. Power. Engine. Small engine. There we go. <laughs> I 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. We need to rethink this. I'm thinking, let's hire up the kid. We did it! In three seconds. Nice. Yeah, we got an upgrade. And we got a trophy from there. All right, so let's collect this. Let's drop it in there. Cool. And, oh, we got small propeller. Nice. Nice. Cool. All right. So now that we have grip tires, we can go up these ramps. I didn't say we could do them well. That's just more of my poor driving skills, anyways. All right. Drop that in there. Do it backwards. He's a little teleporters. Oh yeah, this is a ramp that I had to put down. Alright, this should be good. Now, since you are on top of an object inside your cart and your cart can be lifted by your magic wrench, you can now fly! Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you, if you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments. I'll see you all later. Bye! Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.